Tucker Carlson says everybody in power is panicked over this. A country that censors is not a democracy. By Harold Hutchinson, Daily Car News Foundation, WND. Fox News host Tucker Carlson discussed the growing pressure campaign against Twitter owner Elon Musk's effort to restore free speech on the site Monday. Quote, as if China, if social media in the United States are censored, that's not compatible with democracy. You can't have censorship in a democracy. A country that censors is not a democracy. Elon Musk, not from this country, knows that. He bought Twitter with the aim of stopping censorship and restoring free speech, end quote. That's what Carlson said. He said he just said this. There's been a lot of censorship on Twitter, and we're going to find out what it is. The Twitter files on free speech suppression soon to be published on Twitter itself. The public deserves to know what happened. Why shouldn't we know that? Why shouldn't we know who is shutting down free speech in the country that claims to be a democracy? Well, everybody in power is panicking over this. Apple is threatening to remove Twitter from its app store, Carlson said. So if Twitter can no longer get its app on the app store, there's no more Twitter because you access Twitter through the app. So there's essentially, they're essentially threatening to shut down Twitter. Meanwhile, the White House and the media are trying to convince you that the problem is not China throwing people into concentration camps, suppressing free speech. The problem is Elon Musk who's trying to restore free speech. Since Musk took over the social media platform, he has reinstated a number of Twitter accounts, including that of former President Donald Trump, the Babylon Bee, and Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. Musk announced a general amnesty for most banned accounts Thursday after a second poll in which 72.4% of those who voted backed the proposal. Since Musk's takeover of Twitter, multiple advertisers paused spending while Democratic senators pushed for a Federal Trade Commission investigation into the social media site. Carlson, Carlson played video clips of liberals criticizing Musk's action with Twitter, including White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. Musk also called out Apple CEO, CEO Tim Cook, claiming that Apple threatened to remove Twitter from its app store. Here's the CIA officer, a guy who lied for a living, telling you we need more censorship, but they're not coming out against, quote, hate, end quote, Carlson said. What they're saying is, we decide what you can say, what you can't in this democracy. If you try to speak freely, we'll crush you. That's exactly what they are saying, Tucker Carlson said. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.